In the Glenview community, a shooting on Kendall Avenue near Kyle serves as yet another reminder of how gun violence continues to destroy lives. A Memphis family is now grieving after three women were shot Wednesday night. But what makes this even more disturbing, Geraldine Harris is one of the victims. She was 93 years old. Many neighbors didn't want to talk. Think about this, man. A 93-year-old woman was killed in a triple shooting. A 93-year-old woman was killed in a triple shooting. I ain't even gonna say I hate you niggas, man, because here's the thing, man. <laughs> You just doing what you do, man. You sun turds are just doing what you do, man. It's going to be on society to have to. Society, we're going to have to band together and do something about this, man. A 93-year-old woman, man. Mm, mm, mm. A 93-year-old woman shot to death by some fucking sun turd. By some teenage mutant ninja turd. Oh. A teenage mutant ninja turtle. That a bitch. A teenage mutant ninja sun turtle. lives. A Memphis family is now grieving after three women were shot Wednesday night. But what makes this even more disturbing, Geraldine Harris is one of the victims. She was 93 years old. Geraldine Harris. Let's see if we can find a pick for Geraldine Harris, man. Give this woman some, um, give this woman some dignity, man. Gerald. Dean Harris. Let's see, Memphis. Is this her? Let me see. No, nah, that ain't her. That's another Geraldine here. Mm. I can't find a picture of her yet. Mm. Many neighbors didn't want to talk, but Memphis Representative Antonio Parkinson calls Ms. Harris's death another senseless killing. She had nothing to do with that. And and the fact that, that you know, here one of our matriarchs, you know, in our communities, and, you know, has lost her life because of some nonsense that's going on with probably younger people. When MPD got to the home on Kendale, they say Ms. Harris had already died. Another adult was taken to Regional 1 in critical condition, and a teen was transported to Labonner Children's Hospital in non-critical condition. Let me begin off by saying that, you know, my heart aches for this family. Police said the shooting apparently stemmed from a disagreement between the victims and two men. A family suffering the death of one family member and two additional... A disagreement between... The victims and two men. So it was two, it was it was three women shot. 
One was 93 years old. And they got into a disagreement with two men who then shot all three of the women and killed the 93-year-old. I would love for black kids to be able to go outside with a toy gun and not be gunned down within seconds like Tamir Rice. I would love for black kids to be able to go to the store and buy some Skittles um, and some sweet tea and walk back home and you know, a great neighborhood that maybe their stepdad is in or something like that or their dad without being racially profiled and shot. I would love for Black kids to be kids and to be able to be out and have a lemonade stand without Karen calling the cops on them. I would love for Black kids to be kids and be able to go and look at nature, right? In the trees and, and figure out a way to like kill like the, whatever the lantern flies that were killing the trees without a racist neighbor saying, hey, there's a strange woman outside doing something strange and calling the cops. Yes, I would love for black kids to be kids and be able to drive in the car without us having to have the talk with them to say, hey, if a cop stops you, put your hands here. Make sure that you keep your registration here. Make sure, like with all these fucking rules and regulations, I would love for black kids to be able to be just fucking kids so I could just Fuck be the rules. a parent and not Someone who has to do security check, who have to tell my kids, you have to behave like this. You have to do this if you want to survive in this world. So if my kids can't be kids, that means I can't be a regular parent. I have to be a fucking helicopter parent so that I protect them from all these fucking nuts that are out here. I would love for my black kids to just be black kids or just to be kids. Now. I guess I struck a nerve with, you know, uh, based. First of all, she's entitled. Second of all, her first point was hoping that like kids can run around with toy guns. Like, why would you want kids running around with toy guns that look like real guns? It's a bizarre world. She has in her head. You glad it's gonna have to stop trying to make sense of that shit, man. Press one. In the Glenview community, a shooting on Kendall Avenue near Kyle serves as yet another reminder of how gun violence continues to destroy lives. A Memphis family is now grieving after three women were shot Wednesday night. But what makes this even more disturbing Geraldine Harris is one of the victims. She was 93 years old. Many neighbors didn't want to talk, but Memphis Representative Antonio Parkinson calls Ms. Harris's death another senseless killing. She had nothing to do with that. And, and the fact that, that, you know, here, one of our matriarchs, you know, in our communities, and, you know, has lost her life because of some nonsense that's going on with probably younger people. When MPD got to the home on Kendale, they say Ms. Harris had already died. Another adult was taken to Regional 1 in critical condition, and a teen was transported to Le Bonner Children's Hospital in non-critical condition. Let me begin off by saying that, you know, my heart aches for this family. Police said the shooting apparently stemmed from a disagreement between the victims and two men. The family suffering the death of one family member and two additional family members that were injured in a senseless shooting. Right now, the search is on for the two suspected gunmen. The two known male suspects fled the scene on foot. As a call to action is heard yet again, as a family and community grieve, this time over the murder of Geraldine Harris, a 93-year-old shooting victim. The matriarch or the... 
there'll be no protests. There'll be no, there's nobody that's gonna come to the city and hold a press conference. There'll be nothing for this 93 year old woman who was gunned down by savage. There won't even be tips. The tip line, whoever's manning the tip line at night, probably sleep right now on the job, taking their cat nap. Hot fire says, RIP to my uncle who passed one day ago. Yes, RIP, man. My grandmom last summer, my aunt last January, and all the other great sons in my family that were lost along the way. Hard-working savages. The grind never stops. One hundred. Yeah, man, that's a lot of loss, man. Shit. All right, Pete, all of them, man. Wow. All right, Pete, man. Mm. 93-year-old woman gunned down after a disagreement with two sons. Anybody want to chime in on this? It's another day in the sun stand. <laughs> the perfect victim. She must have had that stank on her. She didn't think of anything more vulnerable than a knife. Somebody smelled that stank on her. Shot her ass. Unbelievable. Shooting victim. The matriarch or the babies that have been losing their lives in Memphis or, or any other individuals, you know, it, it, any is too many. And, and something has to be done. We have to really, really, truly, you know, approach this thing from every aspect, from, from incarceration to intervention to pre Even when a 93-year-old woman gets shot after a disagreement with two thugs, he still got to throw the intervention in the programs in there. He's, even at this point, he can't just... Not, you know what I'm saying? I hey, he, did you hear when he said any is too many, though? I felt that. You feel me? <laughs> if any is too many, then what is a lot? What is 300 and something every year? Just, I just, it's just brothers, we don't have any character, any conviction for, like this brother doesn't have any force of characters. To even to, to, to just be in this moment to be like, look, man, these motherfuckers need to be caught, tarred and feathered. Well, they right. they need to find these motherfuckers and bring back the death penalty. Bring back the lynch mob. Yeah, he talking about programs and shit. The fuck kind of program you got for some fucking sun turds? At a fucking shoot a 93 year old woman after a disagreement. At this point, a century program will work. <laughs> you see a shootout, kill both parties. <laughs> Don't that go against your Second Amendment shit, man? Not really. I mean, they got a choice. They could not shoot each other, but if they're going to shoot each other indiscriminately, then. They should both be taken out. Mm. Especially since they can't aim. It has to be done. This was a targeted attack, though. Oh, even, in, even more really, so. Really, really, truly. Dude, they target her even more so take them out. The one guy they could find to get on camera, because they, earlier in the video they said they couldn't, no one would have wanted to talk. The one uh, that I can find. Go ahead. I got a question for a panel and you are. You think back in the day when there was like more organized crime or whatever, do you think the crime lords would put up with this kind of shit? Or has it always been like this? No. 
Well, I mean, depend on what neighborhood you. I mean, like literally, like because this is the time for the local criminal element to to put these guys out to pasture. Really? You, but you, a nine-year-old for sure. You're talking Obviously about not like, in the sun community, though. Yeah, you're talking about pieces of shit. Like this was not like some fucking mob hit me hit the wrong house. This was probably something that happened in like. That's, no, that's not what I'm saying. No, I, 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 shit. no I, 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 he's saying uh, if there was organized crime in that area, they would want to keep whatever business they're doing, they want to keep it low key. And any indiscriminate violence towards people who aren't involved is just bringing, is just bringing unnecessary heat to. But these aren't the, mobsters. No. These are guys that doesn't are. doesn't matter. No, you're not saying you're not saying that they're mobsters. You're saying that if yeah, was, the mob was, don't control the street like that. The mob, yeah, the mob. That's a fairy tale that the mob controls the street like okay, that. especially okay. in Sunderstand. In Sunderstand, man, it's every man for himself. It's every man for himself in Sunderstand. And that's no the problem. Fucking bosses. And that's the problem in itself. It's like the violence. Go, the violence goes unchecked. So much so that it's not they're not just killing each other, they're killing they're just indiscriminately killing other people. And and the police aren't the police aren't doing anything about it. So at this point it's be up you gotta find some other third party to deal with it. You can't be a boss in Sun Estate because the the violence is so random. Now you could be a boss like a kingpin, a drug kingpin or something, and you could have influence. But you can't control like who kills somebody or nothing like that. No, not with sons. The, uh, it's just a lot of Indians that play chief in Sunderstand, man. It's a lot of little 15 and 16 year olds. I mean, like, think about it. Say you run some, you think you run some neighborhood. You like some OG son man that's been, you know, gangster and shit. You got a little. You got some henchmen and you think you gonna run some neighborhood. Well, it's a bunch of crews of little teens carjacking and robbing people every night in your fucking neighborhood, man. And they're cowboys. And they don't give yeah. a flying fuck about anything. How do you control that element? No, I think that's a great point that you're highlighting how uh, organized crime cannot remain organized in such an environment it's that chaotic yeah well remember remember how we talked about the scorpion scorpion squad right at yeah. this point at this point then i just have to go a step further they just have to be eliminating eliminating any some people they see doing doing that kind of activity yeah but if they got shut down for beating up some guy you know that that's not realistic that's not a real. That's not realistic to happen. I mean, I I, I, under, I understand that would be the sentiment, but this is but we're dealing with this is an ex, this is extreme violence. Like this, there's no there's no negotiating this. I'm not, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying like, no. I'm not, I'm saying that no program is going to prevent this. This is based. This is now a this is now a elimination situation until it all until it can be controlled. If it can't be controlled, then well, I yeah. guess you just be I guess you just be killing killing some people who are just who are just uncontrollably violent. Yeah, yeah. Salute to LR LRS coming through once again. Achilles Weir says this is just a tragedy, but also a wake up call. For everyone to make change. It starts at home. But easier said than done at this point. <sighs> some, some may say impossible. Yeah, man. Or or any other individual, you know, it, it, any is too many. And and something has to be done. We have to really, really, truly, you know, approach this thing from every aspect, from, from incarceration to intervention to prevention. Alex Coleman, WREG. Intervention to prevention. He talking about giving thugs hugs and shit. Yeah, thug fashion show. Mm. Thug bicycle program. Yeah, man. Maybe if the uh, the Memphis Grizzlies came and 
played some a thug pickup game of basketball at the thug prison. We could drop yeah. the thuggery. Yeah, man. Job Morant, man, show up, man. That'll be yeah, another News Channel 3. Mayor Adams announced today he will veto a bill and bring news that matters.